This is Chris of Bogart, and um, I'm doing a pack review over the Duelist Pack Crow, as requested by um, Diaper 35 or so 30 or something. I don't know. Diaper something. Diaper 1, I actually think. But, as it says on my channel, sub to Curse of MTG. That's my Magic the Gathering channel. If you play Magic the Gathering, subscribe to that channel. I just started playing. But, as well, subscribe to this channel. I'm at 170 subs. Uh, very proud of that. Saying I never thought I'd make it to 100. But, anyway, on to the pack. So, basically, my overall opinion on this pack is... It's an amazing pack. I mean, Black Wings are very good. In fact, they are good enough to beat Six Hams. They're good. I mean, like, I beat Six Hams with them at a reasonable. Because Armor Master attacks you in, and they get pissed off. But, anyways, um... Start off with what's in the pack. Gale's a rare. Bora, rare. Blizzard's a common. Uh, that's awesome. It's like gold series again. Shura's a rare. Um, Elf and the Raven's a rare. I mean, like, nobody would use it that much. But it could be okay for Value Sworn. Okay. Mistral's common. Fane's common. Gib Ghibli's common. I don't care what it's called. Gust is common. Koichi's a uh, new rare. Um, not sure of the ruling, ruling on it yet. In fact, I'll search it right now. Koichi, oh ah, crap, rolling. It's hard to type right now. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, that probably would help. Okay, there's no. What the hell? Koichi, the daybreak has no freaking rolling. Awesome. Well, no one really knows rolling on it yet. Awesome. <laughs> That's gay. But, um, yeah, Dueling Network, someone, um, I made a deck based on, uh, what's new in the pack, like, um, Jetstream and Zephyrus. Also, this card, Black Return, broken. Anyway, back to the pack. Um, that's rare. That is a ultra rare, Jetstream, the blue sky, along with the other ultra rare, Black Wings, Zephyrus, the elite. Both very oh, decent ultra rares, but, uh, you never know. That's, uh, Armor Master Super, that's a rare, and that's a rare. And that is a super as well, but nobody cares about Blackwing Dragon, it sucks. Continuing. Raptor Wing Strike, common, common, common. Parts of Black Feathers, common. That makes Black Wings more playable, as I said. Who cares? Uh, Antiverse is also common now. That's a very good card, it's a freaking heavy storm, practically. It's a dollar fifty. what the hell? Okay, this website's jacked the prices. Toy Wars has jacked the prices. Anyway, um, who cares? Who cares? All the stuff, who cares? Except for Guard Mines, which is okay. Uh, it could be a replacement for my body. Could be. And the two new cards I'm pretty good, happy about are Black Return and Black Feather Beacon. Black Feather Beacon does... Blank, blank, blank. Uh, when you take battle damage by a card effects with someone level 4 or lower Blacking Monster from your hand... That's okay, but those are both super rares. But Black Return is what I believe is by far one of the most broken Blackwing cards ever. Actually, only when you have exactly one Blackwing monster is special summoned by selecting one face-up monster your opponent controls. Gain life points equal to the attack of that monster and return it to the hand. So basically, special summon Bora and turn their Bark in, for example, to the hand and gain 2,500 life points. That's a compulsory beyond all measures, I mean... Gain a lot, gain life, and it's just pretty freaking broken. I mean, just balance their card, gain life, and including the special summon, that's broken. This pack makes Black Wings more playable, easy as crap to play. Jetstream was a pretty good addition because it's replacing the Kalut, but not as well, obviously. But, you know, it's always good to have something, um, there. But, my Black Wing deck now updated has three war, three, uh, sorry. 3 Bora, 3 Blizzard, Gale, Kalut, 3 Sirocco, duh, 3 Shura, uh, Zephyros, 2 Jetstream, 1 Jin, 1 Vayu, 1 Dad. I mean, Dad, duh. Black Whirlwind, Cards for Black Feathers, Allure, Dark Eruptions. That is what's replacing Kalut, and also Jetstreams, Jins, uh, I don't think Zephyros. Zephyros, probably not. No, that's 16, damn it. Alright, get your Gale back, get your Blizzard back. Gets your, uh, Kalut back, duh. Jin, Jetstream, um, Vayu, if you ever want that back. But, it helps. So, two Dark Eruptions. Dark Hole, Trunade, uh, two MST, duh. Book, 
two black return. Uh, you don't need it that much. And along with two and I uh, Delta Crow into verse three is too much. You won't always have three. But it's good to play this before you synchro if you have three. Like, uh, I don't know. Let me think. Shura, so normal summon Shura, supposed to summon Bora. Shura to kill something, get Gale, then play this, and then Synchro, so you get all their shit back. Well, not really, but that was a bad example. Anyway, Solemns, the Warnings, and uh, Judgment. One D Prison, one Mirror Force, one TT. Only needed one D Prison. In fact, I might just take that out for another Black Return. In fact, actually, I will. Black Return. It's hard to type with one hand. Alright, so three black return. Sorry, this video is taking very long, but uh, the extra deck now is easier to attain. You have staple stuff like Infinity Doom Dragon. Why? Dark Tuner, one of my non tuners. Once you have no cards in your hand, which is all. If you're playing, like, if you're going crazy aggro with this deck, you could do that. Uh, you'll probably want to have cards in your hand. You can destroy one monster, put controls, and flick damage to them as a last resort. I just put that in there. Why not? Uh, Catastrophe, Black Rose, Brianna, Colossal Fighters, Stardust, Trishula. Duh. And for make the deck more playable, two Silver One, three Armed Wing, three Armor Master. Three Armor Master because of Shien, Stardust, first turn, all that bull crap. Uh, and it's broken, honestly. Uh, Armed Wing, get rid. Like, they said a Spirit Reaper first turn. You attack it, and do damage. Just keep attacking it, win. Silver Wind, um, you could use it with Jin, or you could just. Or with Vayu, or you can summon Jin. Uh, what was I gonna say? Jin plus Kalu plus this. I don't know. Basically, it will be easier to synchro for Silver One to actually use the effect for once. But two Silver One, why the heck not? So uh, that's pretty much my review on the Crow Black, uh, the Crow Duelist pack. Um, very worthy getting a box. In fact, I might as well get two boxes of this. Uh, when I go to my local this week, I'm hoping to pull two or three black returns for the deck. I love black rings. Uh, I really don't quit black rings. I trade them away so I can get more decks, but I always end up going back to that deck. But, yeah, uh, leave a comment down below of what you think of the pack, and subscribe, please. If you have any recommendations for videos or requests, just comment down below, request or recommendations. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Peace out, YouTube.